After finishing 6-16 and 16 last season, and with 14 seniors realizing this would be their last year playing together, the PT Warrior Hockey team decided to make a change for the better, and we decided to follow them throughout the season to see all the work that goes into being one of the top teams in the PIHL. TJ Byrne, uh, senior assistant captain on the Pentraft for Warrior ice hockey team. Just being in the gym, uh, you know, a couple weeks after our season ended, it was kind of tough on some of us. Hard pill to swallow once once you, you know, can't even make it to playoffs. We, we were ready to jump in head first. I'm Nate Mickey, I'm the senior captain of the Penn Trafford varsity hockey team. The Shaler game was a key turning point in the first couple games of the season. After the loss coming out of La Trobe, the team was down and we didn't have much momentum, but going into Shaler, they scored a quick three goals right off the bat, and I think that didn't really stop our team, and our mindset was moving forward that we're gonna win the game. So it was a hard battle towards the end. A high scoring game, eight to six, but I think everyone uh, pulled on the same rope and we got the job done together as a team. Been involved in PT hockey for about 10 years. I don't know, I've gotten to know, care about this group of kids and uh, I want nothing but the best for them this year. My expectations is to go to states. I think we have a high quality group of players, uh, a lot of skill, a lot of talent, a lot of speed. After states, uh, I think we have a limitless potential, so anything less than that, they'd be letting themselves down. My name is Matt Simkovic, I'm a senior defenseman for the Penn Trafford Warrior Ice Hockey Team. This group of kids has been together since freshman year when we were all on the same JV team together. On the ice we work really well together and I think it's because off the ice we're really close. I've had some of the best memories in my high school career with this team and I really couldn't imagine doing it any other way. These boys are really my second family. I spend more time with them than I do with my actual family with how stressful the season gets. I mean practice is twice a week, games mixed in between, sometimes I'll be with them five nights a week. It gets really hectic sometimes, but I really wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So I really think the on-ice success is due to our off-ice bond together and how we gel together as a group of kids.